BuilderDude 35 with part 2 of pneumatic systems on pneumatic tubing. So for the second video in the series, we have tubes. And these are really self-explanatory. Uh, what these do is they're the uh, objects that are physically going to move the air through your pneumatic system. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Like as you see, I have a tube attached to my compressor here, and you'd have another thing attached here. It's a really self-explanatory. But a few things that I want to go over. There are three different colored types of tubes. And the reason for this is you can use these different colors to color code what each tube does. And now how I personally do it, and this is also how LEGO does it, is we use the blue tubes uh, that come directly off of the compressor and into the valves and stuff. And then the black and gray tubes are the ones that directly interface with your piston use the black tubes to go into the black end of the piston and the gray tubes go into the yellow end of the piston and the reason for this is you know that the black tubes are always going to make your pistons retract and the gray tubes always make the piston extend so that's the whole purpose of color coding everything next up we have these little guys which are T pieces and they let you fit a tube to one end here and then more tubes to the other end here and here so those are also pretty self-explanatory. Next up, if you have a tube that is longer than you would like it to be, you could just simply use scissors to cut it down to size. One final note when using tubes is that over an extended period of time, you're going to notice that the end is going to split. And what to do when this happens is just take your scissors here and go just above the split, and you could just cut that split piece off and now you solve the problem. If you don't cut this split off, what it's going to do is it's going to end up traveling up the tube and then you won't be able to use it. So eventually you're going to have to just uh, snip the end off here. So that's tubes. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.